Hello and welcome to the transcription explanation of this design. So I had a lot of fun with this one as far as fancying up a three, uh, well, a four, these, these two words I kind of count as one. But anyway, a really short quote to make it uh, look really cool and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I did so many different little tricks. I did a swirly line, I did some fun concentric stuff. Uh, dash, yeah, it's, I'm really happy with this. Anyway, with that being said, let's go ahead and read it and I'll show you how that this says, Frankie is a dog. Um, interesting. I have no idea why uh, you are choosing to have me write Frankie is a dog, but man, I made it look real cool. So here is our first word, and you start reading at the bottom of the word circle, and you go counterclockwise, like a time traveler going back in time. So this deep divot stem here, this shape, matches this shape, which matches this shape. So as long as the circle is more than 50% completed, it is this stem. And then on this stem, there are one, two, three lines, this straight one and then these two curvy ones, which is the three lines on this one, which is the three lines in this column. So we combine that row plus that column and we get the letter F. And then we have this shallow divot. So unlike the deep divot, a shallow divot is 50% or less of a circle. And there's one, two, three dots, one, two, three dots, and three dots, so this would be an R. And then we continue around and we have this guy. This is the A. The A is the little guy outside the word circle. And then we have these. So these are two circles that I have stacked on top of each other. You can stack letters in the same row. And these two are the same letter stems, so you can stack them. And you read them thin to thick. So this thin one here is what we read first, and it has one line ending on it. And lines only count where they end on a letter stem. So this thin one passing through everything doesn't count, but this thick one that starts here and starts here counts. So that would be the N, and then this thick one has one, two dots by it, so that would be the K, and then our I, which I currently have enclosed inside the K, but we can put the I separate. Um, vowels can either be enclosed inside a consonant or by themselves, and in this design I uh, did most of them by themselves except for this one, the O is on dog. But anyway, here's the I, it has a line that starts off going inwards and it swoops around and goes to the G on dog. Um, but anyway, this is the I, and then the E is a lot like an I, but with no line on it. So that would be Frankie, Frankie. Then we have is, so starting at the bottom, we have another I line going inwards, and then this shallow divot with one, two, three lines on the S. And then we have this word here. I just put this extra circle around to know that this A goes here, and also to kind of fill in the space. I think it looks nice. But anyway, this is the word circle. So this little circle gets swooped up and makes a word circle. And then here's our little A with that word, so uh. And then we have this word, which I tried to kind of make a little bit more, you know, fancy to kind of help with the flow of it. Uh. Anyway, we have a couple extra circles here that I just kind of added for decoration. We could put punctuation on them if we wanted. This would be a sentence circle. But here we have a deep divot, deep divot with one, two, three dots. So that would be a D. And then this is the O here. And this is the O here, and the reason why I moved it there is because when an O is attached to a consonant, it's like a bead on a string. So this brown one is the O, and it is always inside the word circle. And to show that it's attached to a consonant, yeah, literally stick it on the line. So, O, and then we have our G, which is another deep divot, but with one line which is this swirly one, which I connect up to the eye. So yeah, Frankie is a dog. Um, and as far as the coloring goes, uh, you said you wanted it TARDIS blue and black. I just kind of made some of the circles blue and left some of them black. Uh, you're welcome to recolor it how you like. Color doesn't actually change any translation, anything. Um, and your tattoo artist, I'm sure, is quite capable of coloring some lines. If you would like to have them do their artistic interpretation of what blue and black uh, would look like. But yeah. I think this looks nice. So yeah, that's that. I hope you like it. Bye.